Hey guys, I'm Jonathan Creek and welcome to this little look behind the scenes of Ecamm Live and its new feature called Interview Mode. If any of you have been using Ecamm Live prior to the last couple of months, you would have known just how frustrating it's been being restricted to Skype when you want to bring in guests to your show. Now, while in 2014 and 15 most people had Skype accounts, it is amazing how many times over the last 12 months when I was asking guests to come onto my show and said, hey, you just need to call me via Skype or I'll call you via Skype, how many of them you could see their shoulders drop and they're like, no, not Skype. On top of that, it wasn't really that great a piece of quality having Skype coming in to your feeds. So Ecamm has done something about it. Now, I'm really excited about this because I record weekly a one hour long vodcast slash podcast using Ecamm Live. I also like to go live for a funny Friday chat and can bring random guests in here and there. And it was always really hard to do. Now, with interview mode, all I have to do is send people a link and it works across all different browsers, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, um, on Windows computers, iOS devices, it works pretty much everywhere. If it doesn't work for you because you've got a really strange device, well then you're just not in that mass market target that, that they've looked at. But they've pretty much covered all mainstream bases for this. So let's have a look at interview mode. Now if you can see my screen here, and I apologize for looking away, just over here under your pro license you've got these two people. If you've seen any videos uh, on Ecamm prior to this, they'll be pointing out that th this is interview mode. You click this interview mode and what happens is this little bubble turns up here and you turn it on and essentially what happens when you turn it on and it populates this window here. Now obviously I don't have a second camera set up at the moment so it's just going to black. Um, but the key is that you just copy this link and you can send it to whoever you want to have on your show as a guest. Now that's really cool. Um, because they just click on the link and they come into your show and it populates up. What I really want to know, and this is the one thing that I haven't seen too many videos on, is I want to see what it is that the guest sees when I send them the link. Because if I'm going to be running a show, if I'm going to be having guests in who maybe aren't as tech savvy or dialed into this sort of stuff as me and, and a few other people, then I want to know the types of questions they're going to be sending me about if they've got any tech issues. I want to know the solutions to those before sending it out. I don't want to be wasting time before a show having my guests getting frustrated that we can't sort out the tech. There's no bigger mood killer in vodcasting or podcasting than having tech issues that get your guests all frustrated because they're already giving up time to be on your show. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Ecamm Live or Ecamm Live interview mode to the test with a really good friend of mine called named Danny Black. Now, Danny Black, he's a YouTuber, he's a musician, but he loves live streaming and he loves tech. So he's the perfect person to put to the test with this. I'll also let you know that Danny uses a platform called Mimo Live, and he loves Mimo Live as his live streaming platform. I want to see if I can win him over to Ecamm just because it's just so easy and works so well in the Mac and Apple environment. By the way, if you're watching this and you're not in the app, Apple ecosystem, you're probably wasting your time because uh, Ecamm only works uh, with Apple devices at the moment in terms of running the live stream. You can have guests from anywhere, but the actual host has to be in the, the Mac ecosystem. So let's get to it. I'm going to grab this link. I'm going to send it to my friend Danny Black, and we're going to get on there and have a look at what it is that the actual interview guests see. What buttons do they have? What things can they push to make things go wrong that you have to be aware of? Let's check it out. So here we go, we're gonna invite Danny Black in. So all we have to do is go to interview mode, click on the button. It will pre-populate a link. So copy that link. We'll just find him in Messenger over here. It's how we like to chat. And post that in there. I haven't watched any videos on how to use this. I'm just going with the flow, using intuition to make sure. Oh, well, here we go. Danny Black is joining. So I've got a little uh, phone uh, thing here where I can just click and let him in. 
Danny Black is in the green room. And so I can, uh, I think I can let him in. How do I let you in, Danny? Let's add you to the right hand side of the screen. Hey, Danny Black. Hey. Wow. wow. Here, you, here we are. You're in. He I'm drive. in. Just right on time. Mrs. Creek gives me a call as we're <laughs> recording YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens, isn't it? Uh, let me let me explain what's over on my side of the screen. For one, it's it's tough because I'm a little bit delayed. If you talk, can you talk for me? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Let's check. You're you're dead on. You look great. Um, I'm a little bit delayed on my playback watching it, but down below, I could see there is um, I could see my actual thing, which is kind of annoying because why couldn't they just put that in, <laughs> in the place? Well, I'm of not it. sure what you're talking about because I can't see it. Yeah, you will. You will, because I'm sending you this. But uh, let me just explain what's here. So there is light and dark mode, which is nice. Um, so I could put it on dark mode. Light mode's pretty good because it gives me a little bit more brightness. Uh, I must say the colors are awesome. Way better than when we used to use Ecamm with Skype. Oh, really? Okay. That's good remember, to know. Remember um, those early days, Danny? Yes. <laughs> and using Ecamm. Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. Um, there's a... Here on my on my screen, um, there's little arrows, and I think that just flips. Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. So these arrows, what it what it does is it puts me my local playback as the big screen, and it puts the preview with you um, down below. So it swaps it. Um, you'll see. Um, so in the settings, there's a setting button here on my camera, and that's where I can change my camera, uh, and I can change my microphone. Okay. There is a mute button. <laughs> yeah, it works. I can hang up on you, and there is a share screen where I can share the screen with you and uh, do all that stuff. Which let's see. Let me. Oops, almost hung up on you. Oh, hold on. No, uh, in the share screen, you could do the entire screen. You could do it at just an application window, and you could do a Chrome tab. So if I had a second tab open in Chrome, let me do that right now, and I'll I'll just look up uh, Virable. Oh, uh, what what made you think of that dot com? A good website. That's a good job on that website. So now I'm going back here. I'm going to say share screen. I'm going to say Chrome tab, and there it is, virable. So I'm going to share this with you, and now it moved my thing over to that tab. So are you seeing oh, this? Yeah. So now it, what it's done over here is it's popped into a window underneath you, like another guest. And okay. I can then uh, I can pop it up. A solo. Well, let me see if I if I click back over. What? Oh, okay. I'm clicked back over, and that's nice because then I I can yeah. see the original thing, and it's just over on that. That's cool. That's pretty yeah. nice. That, yeah. That's and very I handy. Click this, which is uh, this says picture in picture. So this is you and picture in picture. So I can control you sharing your screen. Hmm. Okay. So that's cool. So it's almost like I'm a remote producer here. Uh, on my this, which is the controls that we need as live streamers, right? Mm hmm. And then I can assign uh, different guests to. I can actually make your screen another guest in the in the um, in the live stream, which is really really cool. I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. That you could do that. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing to show what that does. Boom, stop sharing, and uh, that's about it. That's it for uh... now. Over this side, I have got one page that's gone uh, black, but I'm not sure whether that, that's affecting the stream. I don't think it is. I think it's just getting used to what's happening here. So I'm just trying to assign you to the right. No, where have I gone? What have I done here? So I, I stopped sharing the screen. I think you you had my screen uh, highlighted. Hold on. Now. And uh, now I've gone black. And now I've there gone, we go. That's me. That's you. So I'm going to add you to the right. Here we go. I got you back. There we go. Well, that's not All right. hard. We'll work that out. We're smart guys, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I already figured it out, but whatever. <laughs> hey, Danny, i got one question for you. If I was to yeah. send this link, if I was to send this link to non-tech savvy people, is there any danger that they could click things over there that's going to get the whole live stream in trouble? Or is it simple? Is it intuitive? It's it's pretty simple. And even if you hit... Oh, yeah. It's so simple he hung up on us. Oh, Danny. This will be funny. 
It's All so right, so. simple. It's so simple. You can hang up on us. Here's the thing. The hang up button, like everything, like Zoom and everything else, when you click it, it there's another usually thing that pops up to prompt. Do you, are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. This, you click it, you hang up, but then it also gives you the option to reconnect after you've hung up. Oh, so there's no safety switch here. There's no safety. There's no so that's the only thing I could say would be dangerous for somebody. Don't click that hang up button because there's no other prompt. Yeah. Um, another thing is with Chrome, sometimes you have to just make sure you enable your cameras and stuff like that. There's usually a little bit of a big, like a camera up here at the top. Um, and you can click that and you can make sure you have that uh, working and working correctly. So that's all I would say. But if you are not tech savvy, this should be pretty simple. Um, yeah don't, yeah don't touch the red button because there's no it's, it's not red there, it's no not red it's just an x that says oh, hang up it's a red x here so um <laughs> no double verification for you ending the stream which is really funny because um ecamm the live stream platform itself has that for your stream so when you want to finish recording it then asks you do you want to end recording so uh, ah, maybe that's yeah. something i'll introduce there maybe well there we go thanks for having so, me on I'm That's leaving. A pleasure, mate. I'm Thanks for joining up. us. I got, no, I, I got one question. Is yeah, no, no, this, it's all good. Is this good enough to win you back over from Mimo? Me, no, Mimo Live. No, no, no. Uh, what is it? How much is? It? How much is it? How much is it? Uh, it's ninety ninety six dollars for the year. Hmm. No. Uh, I would. Can you? I don't know. Can you play videos? Can you play intros and stuff? Yep. Can you put? P and G overlays. I'm not selling. I don't want to sell Mimo on this on, on to you, but yeah, um, we can do it. You can put. You it's can put so little much overlays. different. It's so much different. But hey, you know what? As I always say, use whatever you're comfortable with. Use whatever you've taught yourself to, because all these platforms pretty much they look at each other and they end up with all the same features. Use the one you're most comfortable with. And Danny, if you're I, most I, comfortable with Mimo, that's cool. I'm I will say this: the only thing with Mimo that's that's annoying is um they haven't something happens with their api when you're streaming on youtube and you can't like bring up comment comments uh -huh. not all the time you can't rely on it comments coming up so can you if you're live streaming can you have comments popping up and stuff like that and then yeah. highlight those comments yeah yeah that's bring them on uh, to the show. So if i was on that. facebook i could do it with memo but it's just something with youtube and it's uh something with that um so that's one thing I'd say. You're probably yeah, and I think if you use that. something like Re <laughs> and if you use something like Restream IO, uh, uh, Ecamm allows you to have comments from both from all your platforms at the same time and mixes them in. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, which is I cool. would I'd be curious about it, but at the same time, it's one of those things I've I've worked on a platform for you know two years now. It's like yeah. I'm not ready. I don't need to to try a different one. And guys, he's doing great things on that platform. Check him out, YouTube. Where is Danny Black, mate? Just it's Danny just Black. Danny. You got rid of the where is. <laughs> well, because it's uh, 2020. No one's where is anymore. Uh, <laughs> Danny Black. It's just Danny just Black and Danny, Danny Black. Black Music. Danny Black Music. I'm, going, I'm actually going live after this uh, to play some music on Danny Black Music YouTube. Oh, that's cool. So. You, told me, you told me you had a meeting, a very important meeting, but it's a live stream. It's work, huh? It's, yeah. bills. That's right. All right, guys. That's right. We have now had a look at interview mode. I'm going to get Danny to send up. me the file of what he saw. And then, hang up. Uh, yeah, we'll hang Danny up. See you later, Danny. Peace. I'm, hang I'm hanging up. Hey, you, you hang up on me. I want to see what I'm happens. hang up first. He's gone. Well, there you have it. A little look under the hood of the Ecamm Live interview mode. Uh, thanks to Danny Black for that help. Now, a few things that I want to say. I thought it was pretty simple, uh, straightforward. As I said to you, that was the first time that either Danny or I had used it, and we seemed to navigate it pretty well. It's got some cool little tricks that probably can be expanded with some software updates, and I know that Ecamm Live love doing software updates, so that's going to happen. Uh, the one, one of the things I was worried about is with that interview button when you slide it across, because you only get about 250 hours a month, or 200 hours a month of interview mode before you have to uh, pay again for more hours. Um, I was worried that if you left that interview button uh, turned on, that the time that even when you weren't actually live streaming, those hours would be clicking down. Well, I left mine on for two hours and it still hasn't clicked down at all. So it's a true measurement of only when you are live 
um, will it count uh, that time? So that's good to see. But otherwise, I think it's a great a great improvement to Ecamm. The actual quality of the streaming um, to the guest is way better, um, way better than it's ever been. And you know that's the main piece, really. Um, just you know, get the basics right, the quality of the streaming, and then if there's any other little tricks and tips in there, we'll put them in, but don't make it too complicated. And I think um, Ecamm has come to a very nice balance with this interview feature. So um, well done, Ecamm, and I look forward to many more uh, videos exploring the features of this uh, awesome software. So if you're interested in signing up to Ecamm or Ecamm Live, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, you can go and I think you can go and try it there for 14 days. You don't even have to put your credit card in. It's a free trial. And uh, give it a go. It's awesome. Peace.